Hi everyone! In this video, we are going to go over how to create an event in Triple Seat and show the options of manually creating an event and creating one through lead conversion. The quickest way to add an event right to the calendar is by clicking on the New Event button on the top right corner of the screen in Triple Seat. Detailing this page out and clicking Create will add this right to my calendar as well as adding it to my contact and account database. Another option is adding events from the calendar view. From the calendar, I can navigate to the event date, and as long as this is a date in the future, I will see this Create Event button when I click on the date. This will navigate to the same new event page as before, only now the date of the event has been auto-filled. These two options are both great for quickly adding an event right to the calendar. It is worth noting that if I'm running a report in the system, these events cannot be included in my lead details or lead conversion reporting. The lead reports will only run data on inquiries that come in via the triple seat lead form or were manually added as a lead and converted to an event. Because these two options started out as an event, they can only be reported on as events. Since I am interested in lead conversion and reporting, I want to start everything out as a lead first, and then convert the lead to an event. I'm going to start off by clicking the new lead button on the top right corner of the screen. The required fields for a lead are a name and a method of contact. Here I can enter the lead's name, email address, and phone number if provided. If I have details on the event, adding them here will require less work on my end when I eventually convert this lead to an event. I can select which location they are interested in, date, time, and guest count, as well as enter the nature of the event, which will eventually be the event name as shown on my calendar. For reporting purposes, I will want to select the lead source or how this inquiry came in. For any additional lead sources that need to be added to this list, it's important to reach out to a site admin to have that done. If they mentioned they were referred by someone, I can select that here as well. Once I have entered as much information as I have, I can click Create. While this is in the lead stage, I cannot take payments or create documents for this guest. The lead does not show on the calendar, nor have they been added to our contact database. As shown in the leads video, whenever I am ready, I can convert the lead to an event. I can see here that all of the details filled out on the new lead screen have carried over. I will need to select a room to place this event if the event is on site, or I can change the event style to one of the other options. If this event is on site, the right hand side of the page will show existing events happening at that location for the day to make sure my new event doesn't conflict with any others. Depending on which event style I choose, I will be presented with fields to fill in that will pull to my documents, reporting, and merge fields. I also need to pick a status for this event. Please refer to the event status video for more information on what these mean and when they should be used. If needed, I can also add multiple contacts and accounts to the event by using this button. I can either search for existing contacts and accounts or create them from scratch here. If I report on meal periods at my venue, I can select specific options here and I can further select the type of event from this dropdown. Please reach out to an admin to add to either of these lists of options. Whoever entered the lead will default as the owner here. If needed, this can be changed and assigned to a different owner. I also have the option to add a manager to this event. The manager will be CC'd on all of the discussions for this event and receive most event notifications as well. Below are some basic event financials. A best practice is to leave most of the financials area empty on this new event page. These financials will be pulled from information added to the event documents, which will be covered in the Creating Documents video. If I'm taking a food and beverage minimum, I can enter that amount here. For more information on how this field works, please watch the food and beverage minimum video. Once I have entered as much information as I have, I want to click Save to make sure the event is recorded in my database. In the next video, we will go over how to detail out an event by creating a set of event documents. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please reach out to the support team, support at triplec.com, 
by by clicking the help question button at the top right corner of any screen in Triple Seat.